What's up guys, Louis here. Um, unless you've been hiding under a rock recently, you've been hearing about ChatGPT, the AI that has taken things by storm, especially realtors. It seems like every realtor I know has been turned on to this and you know, using it for different things, which is great. Uh, what you might have noticed though, is that it gets clogged up sometimes, it gets so busy, but sometimes with ChatGPT, what you'll find that it crashes or it's just too full. It says like, hey, too many people are using it. It's crazy, you know, I think once they come out with a paid version of this, it will change. But for now, um, it can be challenging if you're relying on this as your only source of being able to use AI. So I'm gonna show you another source that I use today, which I really, really like, which is inside of Notion. So Notion is a uh, phenomenal um, piece of software that I've been using for a long time now, and it just integrated AI into it where you can use. So let's uh, jump in here and pull up the screen and we're gonna compare ChatGPT and Notion to see how it works. So let's jump in. Okay, so I'm gonna open up Notion here. So let me just open up this um, test file that I've got going on. So I've been using this for kind of testing out AI and see what it's like. So uh, let's click in here. Um, you can just come up to ask AI right here. And of course you can just ask it anything that you would ask chat GPT. So I want to compare the two of them to see what kind of answers we get from them. Okay. So let's start with um, chat GPT. So let's go back here. We'll go into chat GPT, which you all know and love. And we'll say, um, write an Instagram post explaining to new home buyers the importance of interest rates in 2023 okay so let's see what it comes up with like that now if you haven't used ai with this before uh this is how you do it you just kind of pick topics like this and you hit enter and we'll see what chat gpt says new homeowners are you aware of the impact of interest rates on your mortgage in 2023 it is more important than ever to understand the importance of these rates a small change in the interest rates can greatly affect your monthly mortgage payment and overall home ownership costs make sure to educate yourself and work with a trusted lender to secure the best rate for your dream home hashtag home ownership interest rates mortgage financial literacy that's not bad you know if that was a caption to a video that'd be really good you know that i mean you, you're not just going to put this as like a one post uh but it's it's pretty decent so let's um i'm just going to copy and paste this exact same prompt and let's go into um to notion okay same thing right an instagram post explaining to new home buyers the importance of interest rates in 2023 let's go so it gives us a headline to start with. Okay, let's see what they're saying. Are you a first time home buyer looking to purchase in 2023? One of the most important considerations when budgeting for a new home is understanding the impact of interest rates. Interest rates determine the amount of money you will have to pay each month on your mortgage. So it's important to understand the current rate environment. With the right knowledge, you can make the best financial decision for your long-term goals. So pretty good, you know, a little bit different, um, but it was definitely good. So you know it's definitely another tool you can use now what i typically do with the ai stuff like for this i don't i'm not just going to copy and paste this into something what i use is a tool like grammarly or something like that to go ahead and help with it so if you haven't got grammarly this is a fantastic app especially if you have terrible grammar like me what i'll do is i'll copy this in and it'll ask me you know how i want to write this okay i want it's a business domain i want to be talking you know uh, specifically what i'm saying uh, I want to inform people. Actually, I want to convince people uh, and inform. Uh, I just go for knowledgeable, let's say expert, and then, you know, informal, whatever. So then it'll start changing the way that things are written. So, you know, it wants to change important to essential, you know, and then it wants to change this uh, whole thing to the essential, but whatever. The, the biggest thing of this, guys, is not just to fix your grammar, but the thing is Google and different platforms are going to be able to spot AI written content. Because let's face it, I doubt we're the only ones that are going in and asking to write a prompt, you know, write an Instagram post explaining to new home buyers the importance of interest rates in 2023. You know, there's probably, it's probably not just us doing this. So um, I like to take it in, 
change it a little bit and then put it out there. So um, I use this for, for a ton of stuff, honestly, like emails, drip campaigns, a bunch of stuff that you've heard all about before. But the AI on here is very, very good and you can do a ton of different stuff with it as well. There's people writing like code in here. You can also, um, you know, if you have a full on uh, long note here, let me find one. Okay, so if we find this right here, so this is a um, brainstorm from a personality test that I, um, that I was taking. I do this quite a lot just to see what's going on. But what I can do here is go ahead and you know take all of these things that it says that I want to do. I go to Ask AI, and then I can go to um, Summarize. So look, I'll just summarize all this stuff into like a paragraph or so. So summarize this, it'll take all that data in and it'll give me like what it says. As an individual, you have a strong sense of identity and self-confidence, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to toot my own horn here about what this all says, but it's very, very cool for that. And that's what's a little bit different about ChatGPT. Can it do that? Probably, but it's not in the same place as my notes is. So now um, if I have this here, I can give it a thumbs up or whatever, and it will keep it within that note. So now that I have all of this um, down here, I can also have a summary at the bottom, which I didn't have to take all the time out and write it down. And it's a really, really cool piece of technology. It does a bunch of different stuff as well. You can have it to uh, help you write things, like prompt you to write things, improve your writing, spelling and grammar, make things longer, you know, so like, Okay, let's take um, let's take this right here. So you identify with what you say, and it can be a blow to your personal pride if you're ignored or misunderstood. <laughs> That's probably true. So let's click this. Let's go ahead and um, come down to here. Let's make it longer. You identify very deeply with what you communicate, and it can be a huge setback. So you see that it takes it and, and does it longer. So maybe if you're writing like an email, you know, a drip campaign, emails, or whatever. You just want to put like the bullet points of what you're trying to say then make it longer here and it writes it into a nice beautiful email so super cool guys ai is you know is is definitely here to stay um and i think notion is going to be a real uh, front runner on it in terms of like inside already a creative platform where you can take notes um and do a ton of other stuff in here so there you go guys chat gpt has taken over the world but notion i think has a strong front runner to match what it's doing especially for what we use it for right blog posts articles asking questions and stuff like that so check out notion there's a link in the description below to an affiliate code if you want to click that and get notion that would be awesome until then have a great week. Peace.